11 p.m. and you're tired, but you want to watch. Well, let's do the let's do the the su super secret thing that I planned. It's it's Stardew Valley related. Um, and then and then and then, I'll, and then I'll allow you to stop watching my stream. <laughs> no, I'm joking. But let's just do that first. Now that we have like three people in chat, I'm pretty sure Wally Gog died. So that's that's pretty. Quick game, exit. All right, here's the super super secret thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's the it's the Stardew Valley deleted NPCs tier list. I don't know why it, it puts make tier list maker on the end because that is not in the actual name of it. Like, look, I didn't. Anyway, doesn't matter. We have like three people in chat. Oh, Cad Jones is in here as well. Let's go. You cried when Wally Gog died. Uh, <laughs> yeah, bro. If Wally Gog died, I'd be so sad. That would actually be really sad. I would go to his funeral. I'd fly to Canada. All right, but yeah. What's happening now is that I'm going to change this to... Uh, let's just... Dunk. A dunk. Um, thumbnail. Let's, let's not dox any of my images on my computer, though. I'm just trying to think. What should I put as the image? Should I just put it as like... um. <laughs> Should I just put it, put it as the same thumbnail as this? Let's make a two minute thumbnail. Let's go and grab one of the deleted characters and be like, um, let's go, let's go, let's grab a red arrow. Okay, let's stream Photoshop first so you can actually fucking see what I'm doing. What is it called window capture? I want Photoshop. Why does it do that? Just show me the... <laughs> Oh my god, this is so dumb. Why does streaming Photoshop and OBS just ki absolutely fucking kill? Huh? What? <laughs> what is going on? Oh my god, never stream Photoshop on OBS. The worst mistake of my life. This is actually the worst mistake of my life. Photoshop. Hello? <laughs> oh my god. I don't want to do a uh, display capture because that shows my whole screen and I like... Mossy really likes to plop with his mouth. What the fuck does that mean? Is that my sound effects? Is that my... No, it doesn't. It's... <laughs> this is forbidden. You can, you can see it here, but you can't see... This is actually forbidden. What? Why? These pictures weren't even... Yeah, okay, well, we're not gonna change the thumbnail, I guess. It doesn't... It wasn't meant to be, okay? It's not... It's just not happening. And it's not gonna... The scene isn't even gonna change for... Oh my god. It, Photoshop is is trying to be here to stay. Fuck off. Can I just delete this? Yep, delete. Okay. Well, I'm lucky we got out of that because that was cursed. Oh my god. Anyway, we're doing the Stardew Valley's deleted NPCs tier list maker. Minus the word maker. We're doing we're doing the Stardew Valley deleted tier list. Anyway, so what I have is the what well, I think 11, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I have the 11. 11 characters, uh, deleted characters that are contained within my two Forgotten NPCs uh, videos. Because the Forgotten NPCs videos, they have deleted NPCs and like in get end NPCs that were Im implemented but forgotten. But today we're just looking at the deleted ones. So first we're gonna look at Dobson. Where where do you think where do you think we should put Dobson? Because he was like the main villain. He was like a Morris, but way more brutal. Um, he looked like this. His, his in-person sprite was never made, to my knowledge. So I wouldn't know. You're a huge fan of Dobson. Where would you place him? Just t tell me where you would place Dobson and why, and I'll consider it. Because I don't... He's I think he's a good... He's a solid character. Because he was meant to be, yeah, the big bad guy. And, like, Morris is kind of, like, a bad guy. But Dobson was, like, the big bad guy. Like, a main bad guy. So his character is kind of like would be essential to the game a tier nice shirt and loves money i mean he does have he does have a, a shirt i don't know how nice i think it is um and he loves money which well don't we all to some degree but yeah i reckon i reckon a is pretty solid tier for dobson all right next we have the rivals i'm just gonna put the same i'm gonna put both the male and female rivals in the same tier because well they're basically the same we don't actually know what the difference be uh, between them besides i don't actually think there was a difference between them besides the gender of them but um where are you thinking rivals because i'm thinking something higher because it was 
a deleted um like they were part of a big deleted feature of the game which was having rivals in the game and like um at the end of i think it was the third year you would do like a comparison thing where it's like if you were doing worse than the rival you'd get shit on and you would be like forced to leave the town but if you're doing better then you just you win you win stodgy valley um but yeah tell me tell me what you think of the rivals because i personally think they're an a or an s like i'm, I'm actually glad the game mechanic was removed from the game like the rival game mechanic because it doesn't really fit stodgy valley's vibe of it being very um like what's the word being very relaxed i guess it, ma it makes the, the game more stressful i think i think that's what it would mean because you'd be like oh if i don't if i don't know uh, if i don't do this by the end of the third year i i will die i will die i will lose i will lose stardew valley but you can't actually lose stardew valley anymore and you also kind of can't really win it anyway a because some people don't want the stress it's cool though yeah that's what i was thinking is that it's like it's I'm actually glad they were moved, however, they were really interesting and everything. I reckon, I reckon it's a solid A. Now, next is the Shadow King, which is from Forgotten NPCs Part 2. Um, we don't really know much about him, except... I actually don't, I actually don't even remember the the information that I that's contained in my own video anymore. But it's like Shadow King. He was yeah the sh king of the Shadow People. Um, he was a boss. Like you could, you could like you could fight him and kill him. I don't know if that's like uh you could if it was like an interactable cutscene where you could choose stuff or it was just like a cutscene where he like fucking died or something. I don't know. But yeah, he he was a big bad guy. But then he died. Um, I think, yeah, you kill him and, uh, the people, I don't know if it was the shadow people or the dwarf people, but the people were actually happy after he died. So where, where would, where would you place him? I don't know where to place him. I also don't actually know what, it, what to rate these on. Like, I don't know if it'd be like, oh, he's an arsehole, we'll put him in D or if like, oh, he was, he, he's this big cool guy, we'll put him in S or like, like, I don't, I'm not feeling a C. I'm not feeling a C or a D. I don't think he's bad. I think he would have been a cool character, not as cool or, or integral to the game as, um, what's his name? Dobson or the rivals, but I reckon he was a solid B. Next we have Josh, which is just the old version of Sam. So we'll just put that in C. Cause it's like, it was just an old name or it was an old build basically of Sam. Um, not of Sam, I'm actually dumb. Alex, that's what who I meant. It was a he's an old version of Alex, so old, old sprites of Alex, and he was called Josh instead of Alex. And I don't I actually don't think there's anything different about him. He's actually kind of implemented in the game. Like Alex is, but Josh isn't. Like it's it's literally just the Josh name that isn't in the game anymore. He's he's just going and see. However, uh Dana or Dana, I think it was Dana, that's her name. But she's actually a little bit more interesting than him because it's the same thing of where uh, Penny, because um, she is the old version of Penny, and Penny is in the game. However, she didn't like her sprite is actually a fair bit different to what it was like before. But um, yeah. So Dana, I'll I'll give I'll give Dana a C as well. However, she's she's at this end of it because she's a bit cooler than Josh because she just looks a lot more different than Penny than Josh looks than Alex, if that makes any sense, if that was English at all. But um, yeah, but yeah, I'm placing Dana here because it's basically the same thing as Josh, except she was uh, she looks a bit different. She looks way she looks more different to Penny than Josh looks more different to Alex. All right. This is not Corobus. This is Shadow Girl. Now, Shadow Girl is actually really cool. Like, I actually kind of wonder, like, what? Why is Shadow Girl just lying around in the game files? What actually is Shadow Girl and everything? Like, who is she? Why? Why is she here? What's What's her like purpose in the game? Why is she just lying in there on the game code? I'm actually quite interested. I wish Concern Eight would just like tell me because I'm I'm actually pretty interested about this. But yeah, she's not an S. Uh, I guess she's a B actually because she doesn't have anything behind her because. Oh my god, there. Because these guys, they have stuff behind them. Like, these two changed the entire way you play the game. And these two would actually change the way you play the game more. But this guy would change the game, like, pretty significantly because he's, like, a, a big bad guy instead of Morris just being a moderate bad guy. Maybe Dead Girl Law, Shadow Girl, Krobus Wife. Yep, could be something like that. Who knows? Actually, no. Actually, yeah. 
Because I was just thinking, I was just thinking when you first go down to the sewer, Corobus is all secluded. And I was going to say, but that means he couldn't have met her. But no, it could have because he said that uh, humans, he hasn't seen humans in ages because they killed his family and stuff. Not shadow people. Now we have this. So I put a spread of the dwarf. But what it was, um, if I go to here, what was it? It was Shadow Shadow King and Dwarf King, I'm pretty sure. Uh, which one did I say it in? Let's not watch my own video. I don't want to hear my own voice. Uh, Shadow Beast, which Shadow Beast actually, I'm pretty sure, turned out to be Shadow King or was an old version of Krobus, but the Dwarf King, oh, actually, I have old sprites of, um, where's the thing? I have old sprites of the Dwarf somewhere on my computer. Why did I use a current sprite? I'm actually a little bit dumb. Looks like Concerned Ape wasn't really concerned with their characters. <laughs> oh my god. Why are you clicking with your mouth? I probably just do it unconsciously, because I'm just a bit, a bit, I'm a bit, I'm a bit special. Oh wait, I didn't even, I forgot to mark this guy. I'm actually really dumb. And by mark, I mean like place him somewhere. But um, yeah, we don't actually know anything about him. Um, he, yeah, he's, I'm pretty sure he's only in the game code, like as a name and as a sprite. Like it's, it's even less than him. It's about the same as this, but uh, the, the girl Corobus, whatever, the female shadow person gives me more intrigue than um, this, the random dwarf person. The, the Dwarf King, like, Dwarf King is just an old version of the Dwarf, but, like, Shadow Girl is obviously not an old version of Krobus, like, she was, I'm pretty sure she, she was implemented, like, I, I was gonna say she was implemented into the game after, but that doesn't make any sense, because she was never in, implemented into the game, but, um, yeah, she's just, she deserves to be there, he deserves to be, like, low low c c minus like not like i don't think there's any characters that deserve a d as such but he's just kind of uninteresting mossy is a bit yeah my whole life is a fucking bit my whole life's a mistake anyway boss people now this is just going in c because it doesn't really mean anything like morris and the boss people i lumped those into one section like one entire whole section um uh, this video because like there's, there's nothing really specific about the boss people. Like, the only thing I could, uh, the thing I talked about was that, can I find it? Yeah, this bit it is where the mum and child, I'm gonna mute this. The mum and child from the Stardew Valley Fair was for some reason just on the bus here. Um, or the, the other thing significant about the boss people besides Morris, not Morris, uh, Dobson besides Dobson being on there was that an old version of Haley was also on the boss for some reason and some other random NPCs. I don't think this guy is like ever seen in the game, like in the implemented version of the game. I don't think I've ever seen him. These two, these three might be in the game somewhere, like at Zuzu City event or something, like whatever like that. And this guy, I'm pretty sure was only, only there. And he, I'm pretty sure this guy's unimplemented as well. But um, yeah, boss people... Mm. The boss people are actually kind of interesting. Like, yeah, nah. Yeah, it's not really worth it's not really worth a B. I'll just put it in C. Because the only interesting bit about it besides it being Dobson, which means Dobson is technically a boss person, is that it's old Haley and these two people are there, but doesn't really that doesn't really mean anything. Now we're on to Goblin, because I'll discuss Linus after. We're on to Goblin, who Goblin D's nuts joke, ha 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 ha. Um he's just going in C because and I we can put him in B. Because it's like uh, there's no goblins in the game besides... Besides the one at the Witch's Swamp. Yeah, besides this guy. Oh, unless this guy is actually like an old version of this guy. That could... That could be a possibility now that I think of it. This guy just looks like so much more different. And he was introduced in 1.1, so I don't think... Like, I feel like... Concerned it would have made him after the 1.0 release, but who knows? He's implemented stuff before, like in 1.3, that was in the game since the start. So, who who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Um, I don't actually think like okay, the henchman could possibly be the implemented version of this, but I don't think so. I think the goblin was like an actual character, like an actual separate character that was meant to do I don't know something in the game. Um, 
I don't, I don't, I don't actually know. We do, we don't actually know anything about him. He's just there. I'm pretty sure there's not even like any text. Um, yeah, I don't even think there's any text with him that explains anything. Yeah, he's literally just in the game. I did say something about him disappearing because in this sprite here, um, you can see he's getting vaporized. Oh, that's, it looks like, that's what it looks like. You know, the wizard, uh, when the wizard casts a spell on someone and they like die, that's what it actually looks like in game. So, I don't know, maybe he's a part of a, he was a part of a cutscene where the wizard killed him or something. I don't know, but the only lead, like in quotation marks, that we have on the goblin, the goblin guy, the goblin peasant is that, uh, he, he was dying for some reason. I don't know. Yeah, that is kind of interesting though. I'll give him a B. Now, this one is a S. I do not care what anyone says. Uh, I am I am correct. <laughs> I am the Stardew Valley YouTuber. I am the correct one. Um, I will place him here. And the reason this is because um, it's a part of the whole Linus mystery thing, which is the biggest... Oh my god, that was most of the video. That was a good like third or so of the video. Um, was the mysterious Linus sprites. So basically, the Linus sprites, they look like this, right? Like, if you go into the game's files, and you unpack Linus, .x and B, the one that will give you all these files, then, yeah, you'll get this image, but what what the hell is this? Why is this in the unimplemented version of the game? Because these three sprites, or this fourth one is probably in the game, but these three sprites are definitely not implemented into the game. So, what 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 is it doing here? And not only is it, like, not implemented, and that it's still not only is like an unimplemented bit in the implemented game file but it looks so strange like what is he what what is he doing why is he in a suit like what is why he's why is he young and in a suit that that happens nowhere in the game um my theory was that it was a scrapped flashback cutscene um that could be the instance i remember concerned ape what did he do it was uh, when he added more um, NPCs in either the 1.0 update or the 1.1 update, no, when he added more marriageable uh, candidates, um, one of the options on the Twitter poll that he sent out was Linus. So maybe he just like made that like just in case people chose Linus, and if they chose Linus, then maybe you know you'd get an extra cutscene uh, where he would do that, or maybe he would dress up like this for the wedding day. I don't know. That's just some ideas. Um, but yeah, that's. That's those sprites. I don't know why he's in the game. Like, why those sprites are... Why those unimplemented sprites are in an implemented game file. That makes no sense. But because of the mystery, and because it still has not been solved, what, like, 2016 plus 4 plus 2, plus like, 6 years later, uh, that's, it's, that's why. It's one of the only remaining mysteries of the game. But, yeah. Here's, here's my tier list. Um, you can... You can fight me. You can physically get into. You can get into a physical alteration with me if you don't um, agree with it. But uh, yeah, this is my tier list, and that's that's the end of the super secret segment on this live stream. Oh yeah. Also, Eric is on subbing for me because I made a D's nuts joke. So um, I don't really blame him. <laughs>